Welcome everybody to another BDA Boxing Film Analysis. This is your host, Mr. BDA. I'm glad that everybody could be aboard for this one. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Juan Manuel Marquez, one of my favorite fighters, and uh, been meaning to do a film analysis on Marquez for quite a while now, so finally we're going to get to it. We're going to be taking a look at his rematch against Juan the Baby Bull Diaz, who really tried to throw him off for a loop. The first fight, you might remember, uh, it was a war. Both guys came to fight. Juan Diaz, obviously a pressure fighter, uh, came in with a lot of volume against the older fighter. Marcus tried to, you know, outwork him and possibly stop him. But Marcus stood his ground, sharp counter punching, and was able to wear Diaz down. In the rematch, Diaz decided to box. Now, of course, that's not his natural style, but uh, he, his uh, style in this one, his plan was to jab a lot move, stick and move, and try to make the natural kind of puncher come to him. One of the things I like about Juan Manuel Marquez is he was a total package. And like I said in the Mike McCollum film analysis, in order to be an all-time great, you really do have to be the uh, you know complete total package. You can't just be skilled or have fast hands or just have power. You have to have a bit of it all. And Juan Manuel Marquez had it. Now, without further ado, let's get to Juan Manuel Marquez who embodies all those three points he embodied all those three points throughout his career. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so keep in mind, we're not going to take a look at the whole fight. That's, that would be too long. We're just going to take a look at the first, the action that took place in the first two or three rounds, I believe. Notice the feints. Let's start with the feints, the most important aspect, or one of the most important. Um, there we go. This is all within the first round, by the way. Look at how many times Marcus faints. And keep in mind, these aren't all of the faints that took place in the first round. So he faints there. Another faint there. Look at this. Two faints. One and then two. Faints with the right. Faints with the jab. Faints again. Faints again. That was all within about a minute and a half. He's like five faints, faints right away. Uh, that, obviously, you see Diaz thrown off. He doesn't know when... Marcus is going to punch. And now the problem isn't just, aren't just the feints, is what comes after the feints, which is Marcus punching from a little angle. See, he punches down, he punches up, jabbing, jabbing, jabbing downstairs, jabbing upstairs, jabbing downstairs, hooking off the jab, leading with a hook. And notice how Marcus always used to do this. He would take a step forward and really open his legs very wide in order to get as close as possible to his opponent. Then boom, left hook. This is just to distract. First round, by the way, again, just to distract Juan Diaz. Uh, Diaz doesn't know where the punches are coming from. Lead right hand, jabbing again, jabbing, doubling the jab, going downstairs with the right, jabbing downstairs again, counter right upstairs. Look at that, boom. So now Diaz doesn't know where the punches are coming from. He says that Marcus has already established that within the first round. Now he starts attacking. Now Marcus wasn't really all that great at coming forward, but if you gave him enough space and just stood in front of him, he was going to mix you up with all his combinations and with his feints and he was just going to have a field day. So look at how Marcus here feints and digs a left hook. Let's look at that in slow motion. So he feints once and then he throws a jab, really just pawing with it. Diaz goes into a shell. Then Marcus another feint as if he's about to go with the right. So Diaz turns his body over trying to roll with the right. And then he rolls expecting a hook upstairs, but instead Marcus finds the opening right here. Nice left hook behind the elbow. Beautiful stuff and accuracy from Juan Manuel Marcus. Lead uppercut and the right hand stunned Diaz. Let's take a look at it. So again, this comes after a whole bunch of feints. Feints, 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 feints. Can't stress that enough. So what he did was here, look at his right hand. See how he pulls it back a little bit or away from his head rather. Diaz thinks that right hand is coming. And also keep in mind that throughout the whole round, every time Marcus was fainting, Diaz was doing this, dipping low. Chin down, hands up, but he's in position to be countered with an uppercut. And Marcus obviously saw that. And then lead uppercut, which didn't really land, but it's the follow-up. It's not just one punch at a time with Marcus. Never was that way. It was always combination, combination, combination. See there? And then the follow-up. Lead left hook. Now that he's got him stunned. Another feint as if he's about to throw the right hand. But instead, lead left hook. Never, see that? Diaz never saw it coming. He was looking for a right hand. Look at his, his left hand. 
he's not protecting himself from that i mean right hand sorry look at his right hand he's not protecting himself from that left hook and he gets stunned catches a, a, a short right hand there but he's able to come back with left hook downstairs but that's about two or three punches that he took and this is all because mark has beautiful setups see that's the thing guys when you're attacking in order to create an opening it's not just about letting your hands go anybody can let their hands go but can you land precisely like this here we see him again leading with the left hook and then boom left up so again can't emphasize this enough look at the way the punches are coming from all angles and then he's mixing in feints and jabs and punching downstairs like diaz doesn't know what's coming another feint look at this, this is a beautiful move feint with the right feint with the right boom and then he finally comes in rewind <laughs> let's rewind that shit. okay so he leans in as if he's about to throw the right hand diaz steps back he tries to jab but look at marcus remains on the same axis so all he has to do is lean back to his left again a little bit and the opening is right there he's setting traps like an old pervert look at this whoop, whoop, boom overhand right that was a nice little quick combination where marcus just simply all he did was again pawing with the jab upstairs Diaz covers up, leaves himself open downstairs, nice straight right into the baby fat, and then a left uppercut upstairs, which misses, but it sets up, it pushes Diaz up for a nice right hand. And that's the other thing about Marquez, was when he would counter and, or exchange, nice short punches, very economical, his punches always got through, he almost always won all the exchanges. Because you see that here, he, he's only moving, his elbows are staying close to his body, so all he has to do is bring him up, with, it, with the rotation of his body and now he just turns here nice little short right lifts the elbow up boom not wasting any movement which allows him to throw shots very quickly and very precise on the inside another goddamn feint jabs downstairs let's look at this here i think another feint's coming there diaz see diaz was trying to give him a taste of his own medicine a little feint and then marcus feints lead left hook couple of right hands another feint another left uppercut he was looking for it and then he says why not try it a second time and finally he catches him one two three four one two three nice little short one two three uh, lead left hook right, right uppercut right hand so let's see what happened here and yeah this is the setup here so see this he 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 could have thrown remember that move that i showed you before the trap he could have done he was looking for the same thing here so now diaz doesn't know if it's going to be a right hand upstairs if it's going to be a left uppercut finally it is a left uppercut marcus sort of eats a little left hook there and then he says let me try that left uppercut again again look at his right hand he's extending it as if he's about to throw the right diaz doesn't know what's coming he's all he's inside marcus's frame right now he's responding to everything marcus does he's not setting traps marcus is doing all the thinking here and catches him finally the left uppercut Ooh, stuns him and then see marcus comes in steps back because maybe diaz was trying to come forward and, and, and smother marcus one two three four look at that then another feint and then an attack see he how he mixes attacks feints attacks feints and this is what he's doing all of this automatically and then a little left hook right hand right uppercut i mean guys <laughs> that's world class stuff right there uh marcus his last fight was in 2014 i believe the summer of 2014 against mike alvarado and i'm filming this right now in 2019 so five years later uh, he's gonna get what into the hall of fame I either this year or in 2020 for sure Juan Manuel marcus now you look at how marcus his feints his combinations he was a very offensive fighter especially later in his career and he was always able to stop guys that normally were very durable like he stopped uh mantecas medinas who was a very widely uh, experienced character and long too taller than marcus and marcus just picked him apart from the outside he made robbie peden vomit in his corner and stopped him uh he stopped casamayor who had never been stopped before he stopped diaz who had never stopped before he, he knocked out Pacquiao in one of the rare, rare instances where he knocked somebody out with one shot, but nevertheless, he stopped him. So, because he was very offensive. Now, don't get me wrong. Marcus, there were some fights where he didn't fight that way. You know, against Victor Polo and Salido, he was very economical. The crowd was booing. But it just goes to show you a couple of feints 
combination punching, you know, which is something that's rare nowadays. Not, not, not a lot of guys punch the way Marcus did with those beautiful combinations, but it's 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 there to stop your opponents. So guys, let us know what you what we got right, what we got wrong. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to BDA Live. Let us know what uh, other film analysis you'd like to see. And we'll see you in the next one, folks. Take care. Thanks for watching.